everyone, ZebraBrains here, and today we are doing some interface! Woo -woo. So the tool we'll be focusing on today is the Contour Editor, also known as the White Arrow. It looks something like that. I'm a very good drawer. I swear. So the Contour Editor, what it does, it edits the contour of a vector shape. So if I take my brush stroke here, and try to move the points around, I can go get my contour editor and just move the points around. Same thing with the pencil tool. Alright, but how do we use it? Because usually we can move the points around, but you don't do the finesse. You don't know everything about that tool. So today, we are focusing on that. First, I will draw a little line here with my brush. And I will get my contour editor. Okay, alright? Two shortcuts you need to remember. Control and Alt. Um, control will add more control to your line, while Alt will allow you to alter its shape. Alright, if I click on my line and I press on Control and keep clicking, I can add more control points to my line. So what if I have too many of these control points and I want to get rid of them? If I select them and I delete them, oh no, you have a very nasty thing happening. The best way to get rid of these little points is actually to nudge the line. So you take the line in between two points and you simply nudge it a little bit. You don't need to go like that far, you just nudge it. And Harmony will optimize your lines the best it can. So you press on Control to add points, and you nudge the line to remove them. If you want to alter this point, press on Alt. And Alt will either retract the handle, and if you click again with Alt, you can make the handle come out. You don't need to press on Alt, and you can just move the handles around. But if you want to break these handles, because as they're created, they are usually the best friends in the world. They, they move together, they sing together, they cook together every Sunday. But if you want to break it, you need to press on Alt, and click on one of them, and it's gonna break. It's gonna create these very cool shapes. If you want these handles to be linked again, it's very simple. You know when people are angry at each other, the best thing they can do is get face to face and talk about it. So as soon as they become face to face again, they're the best friends. One thing to be careful about is when you're using Harmony's snap to contour uh, option, which I will demonstrate using these two pencil lines. So these two are not linked together, so I need to take my contour editor, click on it, click on my snap to contour and make them snap. Just be sure to always be in your drawing view when you do that, because if you are in your camera view, and now if I try to take this line and make it snap to the arm, for example, uh, sometimes it will snap to the background instead. Because Harmony will try to make it snap to everything that is in the scene. So now I only have like 5 layers, but if I have like 35, that would be a very nice opportunity for Harmony to crash in my face. So camera view will snap to all your layers that are not locked, but the drawing view doesn't care about that and it will only snap to your current drawing. So one last thing I want to show you with the contour editor is how you can kind of fake a little bit of a cutout in there. So sometimes when we work in traditional, it's hard to move pieces around because if I move this piece around with the select tool, uh, the arm will kind of pop out and look weird. Or sometimes you want to move like this piece of hair, but you can also, you can only like pull it and now it looks weird. So if you want to cheat a little bit with your uh, paperless animation, you can get your contour editor, select a bunch of dots, and just go here and use a control box. And if you press on this, it will create a, a control box that will allow you to scale your dots or make them rotate. But make them rotate from there is kind of stupid. But if I take my points and I put the box here, where my pivot should be if it was a rig, but it's a traditional animation. But if I rotate it, then it allows me to move my foot a little bit while keeping it consistent. What if I want to make the sword longer? Because if I select my points and I and I try to make it longer, the square is not in the right orientation. So I can take this, put it there, and if you rotate your screen, the square will always be at the same orientation as your camera. So if I move it like that, I can then make the sword longer without distorting it too much. Alright, so I hope this was useful for you, and go ahead and use the contour editor because it is very nice.